Pottle and Gloria Birch of Covey Tucker Hills made canine history. The German Shepherd! The German Shepherd is one! The house is coming down! The breeders are here! The breeders of this fine dog are here. Bob, your speech last night about New York being number one in Giants, the, the uh, football team, the baseball team, and now Manhattan, the dog, wins first number one. Manhattan is on the map as Manhattan. champion Cobra Ducker Hills Manhattan is the winner. New York, New York. Oh, and look at the dog. He this. knows he's done it. See? A German Shepherd had never won before at Westminster. This is history. <laughs> Until now. That's Hatter. The Hatter, Manhattan. Kobe Tucker Hills, Manhattan. Handled by Jim Moses, owned by Shirley Bronstein of North Woodmere, Long Island, and Jane Firestone of Southern Pines, North Carolina. A repeat best of group winner. For the third year in a row last year, paced the herding division with 73 blue rosettes. Second among winners in American dog show history. As we said, the 1985 winner of the Scottish Terrier champion Brayburn's Close Encounter was retired after a 200th top award, the most in American dog show history, although back once again, Close Encounter is active, has won again. But this one right here with 198 wins altogether, Best in Shows has now added 199 to that total. And this dog, Manhattan, could very well end up being the top winner of all time. And you've seen it right here, a very exciting moment. Look at that crowd of photographers around him and the dog just standing absolutely perfect. Bob, I want to say that Gloria Birch and Kathy Pottle, who bred this dog, and uh, some of the other dogs that competed against him in the breed, but especially this dog, they're in the audience tonight. They normally do not come to Westminster. They live in California. Uh, they told me about two weeks ago that they were coming to uh, the show because this would be Manhattan's last show, last Westminster, they thought. They didn't know, but they thought they'd come to the show. I bet they're a little bit tickled. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, the German Shepherd. We've spoken about the magnificent dog, but here's a dog that does many things for many humans, does it not? It really does. It's one of the most useful animals that man has ever had. I went to uh, the uh, Association of, of, of Obedience Clubs uh, dinner, a party, a uh, uh, gathering over in the ho hotel this afternoon, and one of the top trainers of dogs in the world told me that the German Shepherd is the best tracker. Jimmy Moses, tell us about it, buddy. This is a thrill of a lifetime. Is it? It sure is. Oh, you've had a lot of these. Yeah, but I was afraid we'd have to retire him be without winning the garden. So. Did you breed this dog? No, nope. These Introduce two young ladies right here. This is Cappy Powell and Hello. Gloria Birch. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Gloria, Cappy. We're so it's, proud of him. Tell me now, we, we've been talking about the trainability of a German Shepherd, and I've talked to the obedience people today about it, and they tell me they're the greatest dogs in the world for, for tracking and for anything else you want to do with them. Manhattan's achievements were 201 best in shows, 335 first in groups, and 41 group placements. Hatter is the only dog who has twice been a Quaker Oats winner and Dog of the Year. He is the second top winning dog among all breeds in the history of the American Kennel Club.